Hi there, everyone. Martin Tyler along with you today. Alan Smith alongside me, and we've got a game from the League Championship, Alan. Yeah, hi, Martin. I'm really delighted to be here. The match today is Newcastle United versus Norwich City. Newcastle United's lineup. The kind of players that we expect, the kind of performances we expect from the individuals trying to make this formation work. Yeah, I mean, it can at first glance look cautious, but it just depends on the attitude of the players out there. Once they've got a foothold in this game, they can get a little bit more adventurous and push on. And for Norwich City, this is the selection the manager's gone for for this game. And again, we're going to see this shape up. It's a, a battle, individual battles, really, because the formations are so similar. Yeah, they are similar, and uh, you do see this so often these days, two really popular attacking shapes. So, uh, interesting how it pans out. The Canaries, Norwich City, can uh, have their chirpy moments, but I'm afraid the... Uh, the notes have been a bit off tune, haven't they, recently, and they're back in the championship. Yeah, that's going to be disappointing for them all, because they've tasted that top-flight success, but they've just got to get their heads down and battle back. Thank you, St James's Park. Enjoy the game. Andy Woolmer is the man with the whistle today. is rolling to start the first half. Stephen Whitaker. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. Played into the middle. Defender to it first. Now Williams. No nonsense defending from him. Did that well and intercepted. These two have got a great understanding with their passing. He's coming forward with some danger. Crisp defending there. Well, that looked promising, but he's been stopped. Now Hunter. Neither side able to dwell on the ball for very long here. Now it's with Hunter, they're on the attack here. Got the tackle in. Kyle Lafferty. Kyle Lafferty, and the ball's got away from him. Hunter, attacking well here. belongs to the goalkeeper. Advantage played, we love to see it. He's spotted a teammate and he's got the technique as well as the vision to switch the play. Doing well to keep the ball. Bit of a... That is a free kick. <laughs> Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. Comes in strongly. Hunter. Now Hunter, and it's a quick break. 
going to try his luck. It's a fine strike, but not quite what he was hoping for. But when he's hit it, I'm sure he would have thought that was going to bulge in the back of the net. Not quite, though. Amiobi. It's good work between these two. Danny Williams. Could be dangerous. How frustrating is this for the other team trying to get the touch of the ball? Safety first there. Well, that would be a throw. Alex Hunter. Strong, fair challenge, pulls out for a throw, though. Going on Anita. And he's met it with his head. Oh, off the post. Referee has awarded this free kick. Alan, your view on the attempt at goal? No, a bit unlucky, wasn't he? Because he's he's headed it wide of the keeper, but just clipping the upright. On to the attack now. This with the chance to go into the lead now. Good try off the post. There will be three added minutes here. Well, that is half time, and the score is nil nil here. going to see a substitution now. Start of the second half for you. Hunter. He's coming forward with some danger. He's got that and cleared the ball away and saved his side from a, a difficult situation. Hunter. And he's got the ball away from him with the tackle. There's going to be a substitution. It's for the away team. Get an update on that injury now from our man Jeff Shreves. Jeff. Oh, horrible injury to his shoulder there. Landed right on top of it. Sore, but he's tough and I think he'll carry on. And Jeff Shreves in the know down by the benches. Look how quick he reacted. Alexander Tete. And it's been. An hour of very good football here. We've still got 30 more minutes to go, and I'm sure we're going to enjoy that as well. This is how It's Danny Williams! It is a miss, a narrow miss. Otherwise, we'd have been talking about one of the goals of the season. Well, they cut through the defence on the breakaway, and all it needed was a composed head at the end. It's a change here, and I think it might be a tactical one. Well defended, not just getting it across, he thought quickly as well. 
That's the heavy touch the opposition could take the ball away. There's some potential in this move. And the away team want to make a change. They cope with it well defensively. There's the ball in. And it's the goalkeeper's ball, quite clearly. A wasted cross. It's Yedley. Good forward play from them. And that will be a corner for Newcastle. Well, he's going to have a go, isn't he, with this substitution? The manager, it's definitely an attacking move. Try and get a winning goal. Substitution for Norwich City. Coming off the pitch, number two, Stephen Whittaker. Coming onto the pitch, number three, Martin Olsen. Now Hunter. Going to be a, a throw here. Good anticipation by the opposing player there to read the direction of the throw. Jake Giotte. It's Yedlin. Could be dangerous. And now he's looking for some support. That is a tackle and a half. We see a substitute coming on for the away team here. To put them in front. What a goal! And what a time to get it! This is a competition famed for its late goals. And we may well have witnessed a really important one here. They are in front and very little time to go. Newcastle United delighting their fans with this late goal. Oh, it's gone crazy after that late one. got seven minutes remaining now. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. Well, they've been uh, thwarted here. That's a sign of better things to come. Well, we've had some chances, Alan, but it's a while since we've had a goal. They've still got the lead. Yeah, and they're knocking the ball about with a fair bit of confidence, and uh, they look pretty secure with this lead at the moment. That could soon change, though, of course. Murphy has chosen to add on two extra minutes. Check to your tech. He went in well. And there is the final whistle, and it's a win for Newcastle United. It was a wonderful game, and they've won it just well a game that we will remember i think martin for many weeks and months to come well alex hunter we're certainly going to keep an eye on he's a, a young talent to follow he's pretty happy with his performance here and what did you make of it alan smith yeah he's getting handshakes all round and why not having scored the the all-important goal and also hit the woodwork on Anita and he's met it with his head this with a chance to go into the lead now I see a substitute coming on for the away team here
Alex, well done on scoring the winning goal. What was going through your mind as you saw it go in? I can't lie, Karen, it felt amazing. You just can't describe the buzz when the ball hits the back of the net, such a rush. And of course, it feels pretty good getting the three points too. Your squad manages to bring an important win today. A word on clinching the victory. The squad's really been coming together lately and we've been following the gaffer's tactics as a unit. And we all know our roles, which makes it a bit easier to like execute on the pitch. If we can do that, then I think we'll find we win more often than we lose. The team's tactics seemed perfectly set up to deal with the opposition today. Any thoughts on that, Alex? You know you're better off asking the gaff about that kind of stuff. I just play where he tells me to. And we're done. Much appreciated. You're welcome. Cheers. I've seen a lot worse, that's for sure. Rice is all you need. Rice? Well, like, the food. Right. You're a kid. Rest, ice, compression, elevation. Take it slow for a few days, then get back in the gym. You need to be smart, Alex. No need to be going full speed all the time. Pace yourself. Choose your moments. What, like Ibrahimovic, Berbatov? Yes, something like that.